Hi, I'm Jeff Bell and you're watching Hungry Go Where. I love bartending because I love people. I love interacting with people. I like being on my feet and it's kind of a vibrant occupation where you're always interacting with different people, you, you have good music to listen to, you're, you're always kind of moving and the time goes by quickly. Regardless of the product the bar serves, the most important part of running a successful bar is making sure you have the atmosphere uh, and hospitality on point. You want to make sure your lights are at a good, good level. The volume of the music is a, is the right sound. You want to make sure the, um, you know, the temperature is comfortable. But also, you want to make sure you're welcoming from the first interaction with maybe the hostess at the door to the the last interaction as they leave and everybody in between. You want to make sure that the server is courteous, the bartender is friendly, or as much interaction with us as they want, and we're here for them. Uh, it's, it's important to have a dialogue with each customer just to figure out what they like. Everybody's very particular about the, their tastes and they have different backgrounds, they have different likes. And Here in Singapore there aren't really seasons from what I gather, it's just very, very warm and humid. So the drinks probably should you know, reflect that. You want a lot of probably long drinks. Think of stuff like the Singapore Sling, which is famous around the world. You know, incorporate different flavors, different local flavors. Think of the different ingredients that the chefs use to enhance the fruits in their dishes. And I would, I would definitely look at local cuisine as an inspiration to, to how you develop your drinks. Use your different you know, Singapore spices to add a little complexity to your drinks. My recommendation for somebody from Singapore, if they're gonna have one spirit, it would be one spirit in their cabinet. It would be Tangeray 10, and then they could keep a plentiful supply of uh, tonic water. Tangeray is distilled with uh, fresh grapefruit, so I like to have mine with a little squeeze of grapefruit or the peel of grapefruit and maybe a little lemon or lime. And I'm gonna show you how to make the one-two punch cocktail. So I'm gonna start with a bit of uh, fresh grapefruit. lemon juice. The next is a, a lemon and grapefruit oleosaccharum. So it's a, basically it's a simple syrup I've made from the peels of uh, lemons and grapefruits. It's a traditional ingredient in punches. So we have lemon, grapefruit, oleosaccharum, Johnny Walker gold label. We have 45 mils, ounce and a half as we call that in the States. You want, to you want to add a, three ounces of a lager. We're going to use a little tiger beer today. And then we want to retain these bubbles, so we're just going to give this a brief stir just to incorporate. Slice of fresh grapefruit. A sprinkle of Borneo spice, which is a blend of long pepper and mace. Just on top of the grapefruit there. To add a little aromatic finish to it. All right, here we have the one-two punch. Johnny Walker Gold Label, lemon and grapefruit, oleosaccharum, lager. Cheers. <laughs>